welcome back to my channel Button and Pip. I'm Adele. Now I'm setting myself a fun challenge today that I'm hoping to get done this weekend. I'm going to create a full set of matching family Christmas pyjamas. Uh, yet they're all fully on board, there's no worries about that. Now my husband actually bought me this pattern last Christmas uh, as part of my Christmas present. It's the Simplicity 8269 pattern. And the first thing he said was, next Christmas, I'm expecting us all to match. So I've, I've taken the challenge and he's given me the morning. He's took the girls to dancing. So I've got the morning to get this cut, this planned, and I'm hoping to get it all sewn up this weekend. So this is a really great pattern. It's got uh, adults, teens, and then also a children's sort of jumpsuit. Now I've been looking at the pattern and I quite like the fact that we're all going to be matching in terms of the style of our outfits, but the jumpsuit, I'm not too sure whether I'll make that for the girls. I'm wondering whether I might make just a smaller size of the t-shirt and the bottoms for the adult size because the adult size goes from extra small all the way up to extra large. And looking on the back, the extra small uh, chest size begins at 30 to 32. So I think my eldest, who's 11, she'll fit into that. Um, I need to maybe look at the pattern piece when my daughter gets home, my youngest, whether it will actually fit her, but I've got a backup plan. Now, this is a pattern that I've used a lot for the girls, which is the new look N6649 pattern. And if you've watched any of my makes vlogs, um, I've made the dress, jumpers and the jogging bottoms for both girls because it's got sizes 8, 10, 12, 14 and 16 and it's really easy to adapt between the sizes. So I'm thinking the three of us, the eldest, will be in this one. If I can't size down then this is my backup plan. So I've got the pattern sorted. Now I'm gonna show you the fabric. So when my husband bought me that pattern in January, I did look online in the Christmas sales, but as I suspected, a lot of the Christmas jersey goes really quick. So there wasn't much left in the sales. There wasn't going to be enough to get us a full matching set. So I've been keeping my eyes out on the internet to see if any fun, Christmas jersey was popping up and I finally found some so it, let's just say it's go big or go home it's very bold so let me show you the fabric here it is <gasps> so I picked up six meters of this fabric from Colville Fabrics now I've used Colville Fabrics before if you haven't ever heard of Colville Fabrics they have a Facebook group and it's actually in a unit just down the road from where I live so I could have actually gone and picked this up but I with work and everything I just got it posted to me now they do their fabrics as a pre-cut bundle so I picked up two bundles of this so it was already cut in three meter lengths so I'm hoping that's not going to be a challenge if um well I'm thinking with six meters I've got enough that I'm going to be able to have that sort of um buffer that amount that if I can't fit it onto one length then I'll get it out on the other length but I love it how gorgeous is it so it's got unicorns llamas pizza one of our favourite dinners. Um, flamingos with Christmas hats on, dinosaurs. It's just really fun. Now, buying fabric online, I always worry because you can't feel how it is. You can't see the amount of stretch or anything like that. So I just kept all my fingers crossed. Now, I did hope that it was going to be a little bit thicker than it actually is. It's quite a light weight. It's almost like a, a viscose jersey. But I think it's going to be okay to go with this pattern. Now, originally I thought I was going to use just some jogging bottoms patterns that I've already got in my stash for the bottoms. But I'm a little bit worried having pockets, especially with this jersey, they'll droop. So this pattern's really good because even though the bottoms are for a woven, I think there's enough ease in there that it will still feel comfortable. It won't feel like, like I've stretched the fabric too much but I think that's going to be a good option. I'm really looking forward to using that pattern. Finally getting around to using my Christmas presents one year on. 
Um, I've sent him out this morning to go and get me some elastic. So I am keeping all fingers crossed that I'm going to get this done this weekend. But the only sad part of this is my overlocker has had to be sent to get serviced. For some reason, I don't know why. I've never had it serviced, but the needle kept breaking every time it went down. So it's gone off. It's gonna take two weeks, but I haven't got those two weeks to get these pajamas done. I wanna get them on and um, get them ready for Christmas. So I'm gonna make this completely with my normal sewing machine. Right, I better get started. Now, with it being a paper pattern, I have cut, I haven't traced. So this is a bit of a gamble, but I've cut a small for my husband and I, and with the seam allowance being a centimetre and a half, I think that's going to be enough area that I can sort of take out or take it in if I need to in any places. I'll have to fold the pattern over for the extra small. Now, I'm still thinking about what to do for my youngest. And I'm thinking if I make up the extra small first, try them on her. If they're way out, then I can use the pattern that I've got with the um, other, the joggers in the top, the jumper. Um, if it sort of fits, then I can cut, kind of adjust it, take it in the places that I need to. So that is my plan of action. Right, now time to cut this gorgeous fabric out. So that's all four pyjamas cut out. Um, I have to admit though, I find cutting out so boring. <laughs> so it took me forever. Now I've come across a few little problems. So I had six meters of fabric, which I thought was going to be enough, but it's not going to be enough. So we're all going short sleeves. Um, the girls are going to have shorts. My husband's got the long trousers. So he's the only one that actually, that's gonna have a full on because this is what I'm gonna have as my bottoms. So some nice, just plain navy fabric. And I think I'm actually going to go for a three quarter length trousers with a cuff at the bottom. So they're a little bit like yoga pants. That is my plan. Right, let's get sewing. I've got my cup of tea ready. I'm really loving fruit tea at the moment. So this is apple and cinnamon. I've got my iPad set up, a bit of Netflix, and I think I'm a happy bunny. So I've named this Operation Family Christmas. I've finished my pyjamas and I've finished my husband's pyjamas. So that's two pyjamas out of the four. And I'm just gonna have to leave it now. These have took me longer than I thought they were going to take me because I haven't got my overlocker so every time I do a seam I have to cut it and finish it off on my machine so it is taking a lot longer. Also I'm going to have to maybe make a few changes to the pattern for the girls because I think even the extra small is going to be too big for them. Um, I know my eldest has got a pair of pyjamas that she loves that I might actually use that as a guide but keep well I've already cut them out but maybe put the pyjamas that she's got on top of these pattern pieces and just see if I need to trim it down at all. But I love them. So it has this sort of cross area here. I've cut mine down quite a lot. My husband's is back here. And let me show you my buttons. I've gone for the crotch with a cuff on mine and my husband has got the full shebang, full length, uh, pajamas and they look amazing right oh, I'm really good at that I didn't get them all done today but they'll get done by Tuesday and hopefully I'll be able to get a photo of all four of us together in our pajamas right operation family Christmas has been put on hold It's Tuesday, my day off work, which means I can get these pyjamas finished. I'm super excited. I've already told the girls that when they come out of school, they're definitely having these pyjamas. 
So it's gonna happen. I'm forgetting all the housework for a moment. These are going to be done. Now I've put the pattern pieces next to a pair of pajamas that my daughter currently wears. And they're not too far off. I don't know why I was worrying on Sunday, or was it Saturday? The other day anyway, that they'll be too big. I think all I've had to do is take a bit of the top off um, the bottoms because it would have come up way too high. But the size is going to be okay and they're just gonna be mega comfortable. I know they're gonna be comfortable because I've already been wearing mine. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, they weren't gonna stay in the cupboard until we all had ours done. They went straight on and yes, they're comfortable. Right, let's get sewing. And they're finished. I can't wait till everyone gets home today so that we can all get changed into these and I can see everybody in their matching pajamas. Um, on Saturday when my husband put his on, I just couldn't stop laughing because they just look crazy. The print of this fabric is just so fun. I've had some lovely comments online when I've been putting photos up of this and I'm really sorry that not many people have managed to get hold of this. I have to say, I think it's the best Christmas fabric I've ever seen. So, oh, right, let me talk about how they went. Let me pop these down, if I just keep hold of one. So it was a viscose jersey, and I don't know if I mentioned earlier on the vlog, I've got a little bit of a problem with my overlocker currently, and it's gone off to have a service. So I knew that it was gonna be a little bit trickier, take me a little bit longer getting these um, pajamas done, just using my normal sewing machine and the zigzag. Well, I used the lightning stitch, um, but I didn't envision it being so, how do I say? I think I've just been spoilt with my overlocker and it was just a bit tedious doing them. I, the amount of times I've had to wind my bobbin up is ridiculous, but doing it on the sewing machine, then cutting, the um, seams and then finishing the seams. I've, the only seams I've really finished properly are the ones around the neck because I wanted those to sit nicely. But I had to get them done. I couldn't wait for my overlocker to come back. I had to get them done. But it did go through the machine really nicely. Even though it's a really quite a lightweight jersey, it went through perfectly. So I, I have mentioned before that I did struggle to get the full set of long long trousers long sleeves out of six meters that was never going to happen but i did want one person in our family to have a full set and that was the husband because i think he deserves a full set of pajamas especially for buying me the, fa uh, the pattern so the changes that i have made are i've used some plain blue cotton for mine and i love this cotton it's just super soft and I did the same shape as my husband's, but I put a cuff on mine. And actually, after seeing my cuff, my husband did say, can't I have a cuff? But I have narrowed his legs in a little bit from the actual pattern. They're not as wide as the pattern. And the shorts, so the girls have both got shorts. And they've come up really well. So I just basically took in the seams every time I went down a size. So my husband's got the, the correct seam. I've got a slightly bigger seam. Then we've gone to the extra small size for both the girls' ones, and I've taken in both of them, the youngest even more. And they're not here for the elastic, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that these are gonna fit them when they come out of school. But I went and got other pajamas, measured the elastic on those, and I think they're going to fit. But they're so cute! I kind of wish, do you know what? If I think I'd planned myself a little bit better, I could have maybe got some shorts out of the matching fabric because I had to take off the top part of each of the girls' um, shorts so it would have been too high-waisted and I have cropped the bottom. So if I'd planned this a little bit more thoroughly, then I would have actually probably got me a matching set of shorts. But then I'm not sure if I wanted shorts because now I've got my cropped leggings. I love them because they're just so big and roomy. And I have to say, they've been super comfortable. Oh, I just can't wait till the girls come home. But I'm, I'm really pleased actually that I, I set myself this challenge because last year when we got our shop bought matching pajamas, they did make me giggle the fact that we were all matching. And I know my family are on board 
and up for the fun of having another set of Christmas pajamas. Oh, right. The next bit of sewing I'm going to do is going to be completely selfless. I know I'm going to get some, um, well, I'm planning to make some beautiful meiosis dresses, maybe for Christmas Day even if I've got time. Right, thank you ever so much for watching. I'll pop a video on the end of this of us all in our matching pyjamas and some photos so that you can see us all together. I hope all your Christmas plans are going well and that everybody's excited. I know we're not far off now. If I ask the special um, <laughs> speaker over there, she <laughs> Santa actually tells us how many days we've got left, but the excitement's getting real now. Have a lovely Christmas if I don't speak to you before then. If you like my vlogs, please subscribe, like, have a look back at my previous vlogs and enjoy. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you.